Welcome to Stacy Podcast. Childhood Memories Just like a boat drifting along the water, there are faint landings, unremembered, but there are also shores that changed my whole life when I met him. The shores of a beautiful friendship or perhaps the deep, clumsy love of school age. Today I accidentally met my old best friend, dared not speak, dared not smile, dared not call his name, dared not think of anything but do not understand why. Just like that, I watched him pass by involuntarily like a breeze and then so many childhood memories of the two of us rushed back, as if afraid that if we don't reminisce, it will slip away to some distant memory that makes us feel lost. have the opportunity to regret, but remember. In a moment, the black and white memories are suddenly dyed brilliantly. Memories that were thought to have been dusted by time suddenly rushed back, clear and fresh as in the beginning. He and I have known each other since we could crawl. Our father has been best friends since high school. Growing up as adults, they bought land next to each other, made two houses, both got married, and then we were born. The house with two rows of beautiful pink confetti in front of the alley. Always the wind gently makes the little arms of the confetti fly away, like waving to us every time we come home from school. Even the curtain on the window of our classroom was sewn by our mother and aunt. The walls of the house were painted white, and the mailbox in front of the house was also made by my father and uncle. Redesigned, making it stand out from other houses in the neighborhood. And he and I are here. However, I know all about his likes and dislikes and vice versa. Sometimes parents don't understand their children as much as we do. He really loves football. Every afternoon drags me to work as a reluctant fan. That's all. I like it. Watching him run enthusiastically on the field with a ball braided with straw. There was no ball back then. Skin is not as beautiful as it is now. Steals another's ball. Jumps up when scoring. Then turns back to smile at me. Very bright. I don't remember how I was then, but that smile really I can't forget, his charming smile brighter than the sun. Second grade. I'm short and fat like a pig, every boy in my class makes fun of me, jackfruit seeds. Except Bach. Yes, that's him. At that time I was very sad, the two of us were on two bicycles, but if I was in the mood to make him take it, Oh my, there would be a lot of things happening that would be the subject of many stories in my class. He's thin and tall, I'm short and fat, take me, he kicks his back. Sweat is flowing, it hurts to see it. But that idiot wouldn't let me drive. However, my classmates didn't understand, they poked me over and over again, pretending to make a pitying face when they saw Bach carrying a box that was me in the car, making me feel so sorry, tears only overflowing. After school, I didn't wait for Bach to get the car like every other day, I quietly went back first, he didn't see me. <laughs>